Now we'll look at a couple of problems in checkpoint 5. These are similar to checkpoint 4. Notice we have the, the addition in here so we can't combine them directly. Um, but there still might be ways to simplify this. And uh, what I would do here is look at each of these terms and see if you can simplify them. And then go from there and see if you can take it further. If you look at the square root of 27, 27 does have a factor that you can take the square root of. So let's, uh, let's try to take care of that. We can rewrite the square root of 27 as the square root of 9 times 3. Uh, in a similar way, if you look at the square root of 12, 12 has a factor that we can take the square root of, and that would be 4. So let's rewrite the square root of 12 as the square root of 4 times 3. Okay, and then I'll rewrite it, splitting this up. 5 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 3 plus the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Okay, now I can actually take the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So I hit 5 times 3 times the square root of 3. And then plus the square root of 4. I can take the square root of that. That's 2 times the square root of 3. Then uh, if I multiply this out, I have 5 times 3 is 15 times the square root of 3. And then plus 2 times the square root of 3. And similar to what we saw in the last checkpoint, these are like terms. Using the distributive property, we can combine them. 15 plus 2 in parentheses times the square root of 3 will give us 17 times the square root of 3. So we're able to simplify this expression, the original expression, quite a bit. Um, let's take another one to practice. Very similar. 6 times the square root of 18x minus 4 times the square root of 8x. Doesn't look like you can do much of that, but let's see if we can break these down. If you look at these individually, they're not simplified because under the square root sign, there's something we could pull out. Um, 18 has a factor that we can take the square root of, and that number is 9. So let's write this as 6 times the square root of 9 times 2. 9 times 2 is 18. We still have the x under here. And 8, if you look at that, 8, the square root of 8x is not simplified because we can. Uh, find a factor of 8 that we can take the square root of, and that number is 4. So let's rewrite this as uh, 4 times 2x. Okay, then we'll separate out what we can. We have 6. Let's separate out the square root of 9. And I might as well leave the 2 and the x together underneath because I can't really uh, simplify that part. Uh, let's separate out the square root of 4, and then I have the square root of 2x left. Square root of 9 is 3. 6 times 3 is 18. So you get 18 times the square root of 2x. Square root of 4 is 2. So we have 4 times 2, which is 8 times the square root of 2x. Uh, we have like terms here. So similar to what we did in checkpoint 4, we could combine them. We have 18 times the square root of 2x, and then you have minus 8 times the square root of 2x. So 18 minus 8 is 10. This will uh, simplify to 10 times the square root of 2x. So again, we're able to simplify uh, substantially from the original expression.